Hey guys, this is Aaron with 3D Printer OS. Today we're unboxing the Zmorph 3D Printer from Poland. The unique thing about this printer is it has multiple extruders you can switch in or out. So in addition to printing ABS or PLA, you could also print, say, a chocolate cake. Underneath the hood, and it looks like we have electronics of some sort, which seems to be an ethernet cable. USB connector, power source, and an SD card. Let's put these aside. What else do we got? We have, hmm, seems to be screws or something of the sort. All right, we have, ah, it looks like an assorted amount of tools to change out the extruders. I see adjustable or uh, wrench sizes here. We have a paintbrush, hex wrench, grease, and a screwdriver. And put that aside. I have no idea what's in this. We'll get to this later. A ball of awesomeness. Let's see what's inside here. <laughs> I have no idea what this is. Well, inside that bag of awesomeness, it turns out there is something magical uh, that smells quite strong. If I had to guess, I'm assuming it's uh, acetone or something for cleaning some of the prints when they're done. And the last thing here on the top, it looks like, is uh, some supports with the Zmorph logo, which are right here. We put these aside and... A nice pamphlet from Zmorph, personal fabrication for creative people. Removing the Zmorph from the box, the first thing I noticed is this is much more of a maker's machine. Uh, I mean, a lot of the parts are actually 3D printed, and it's just, it's clearly built for tinkering. I guess that fits in with the whole switching out different extruders. The moment of truth, turning the machine on. So we're ready to run the filament load sequence for the Z-Morph. The first thing you'll need to do, now this is a little bit different than some other printers, hit OK at the home screen, go to prepare, and we're going to preheat this for ABS. That's 245 degrees Celsius. While we do that, I'm going to go back to the home screen. and As you can see here on the top, it's heating up. Uh, we're actually heating to 245 Celsius. It's at 102 right now. So we've gotten to 245. What we're going to want to do is again go to prepare. You're going to want to scroll down to extrude and retract. And in that screen, select feed. Now that the printer's hot and we've ran the feed sequence, what you're going to want to do is feed that filament from before through the top. I'm going to use my hand right here to help. And just push it on down to the extruder and to feel it catch. And when you see the filament start to come through the bottom of the extruder, you know you're good to go. Before running our first print, what you'll need to do is preheat the printer. So I'm going to go to prepare. I'm going to preheat for ABS. Now we wait for it to get hot. Once the printer's hot enough, we're going to go back to play. And I'm going to print a duck that I created earlier. Let's see how it turns out. 